Hello guys, welcome to our web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 25. Inside this video, we will see all about the basics of CDAS concept in Laravel. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KickPHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is the blogging website and inside this we have several different categories inside this articles drop down. Also if I scroll down, here we will see a section of latest blog post. Here inside this section we will see the recently posted blog articles. Back to the topic. So inside this video we will see the basics concept of our seeders. So first of all we need to know that what are seeders. So seeders are those files which is going to dump the dummy data inside our database tables. Suppose we are developing an application. Inside that application we need some dummy data. So for dummy data we will use the seeders concept. By the help of artisan command we can create or we will generate the seeders file. Inside that seeder file, we will create or we will use the faker library. By the help of faker library, we will generate our fake data. So let's get started about step by step about using seeders. So if I back to our terminal and here inside this, if I type the command called php artisan and simply press enter without passing any extra parameter. So inside this command list, we will see a command called php artisan make and we will see inside this list all about cedar. So this, the, this is the command which is going to create a new cedar class file. This is the class file which is going to automatically store inside this database folder means here inside this root we will have a database folder and inside this database folder we have a cedars folder. So when we will create a new cedar file it is going to automatically store inside this cedars folder. So let's say that right now we have all these tables inside this database so what I will do, php artisan, let's say migrate and let's say refresh. If I press enter, this is the command which is going to roll back all the migrations and again migrate all the migrations into database. Go here, reload this structure, now we have the same number of tables. Now inside this student's table, right now we don't have any row, but inside this structure, these are the columns we have. So let's say that we want to insert some dummy data inside these. So what I will do, first we need to create a student migration file, sorry student cedar file. That cedar file will insert some dummy data inside this table. So what I will do. First we need to create a cedar file, so php artisan make cedar and next we need to pass our cedar class file name. If we want to see about the help manual, simply we need to type php artisan help make cedar and we can see that this is the help manual guide of cedar command. So simply we need to pass the name, that name indicates the name of the class. So it's a php artisan make cedar and we are going to dump all about our dummy data inside student's table. So student, let's say cedar. If I press enter, cedar created successfully. Back to editor. Reload this structure. Now inside this cedars folder, we will have a file called studentcedar.php. Now if I open this file, here inside this file we have a class and inside this class we have a run method. 
So let's insert some dummy data. So what I will do, first of all, we need to import our DB class. By the help of this DB class, we know we have few methods. By the help of those few methods, actually, we can insert some data inside our table. So use DB. Go here and right here, let's say DB. We will use the insert method and we are going to insert the dummy data inside our students table. Let's say insert. So it's not db insert, actually db. Here we need to pass the table name. Let's say insert. And inside this insert, here we have an array. Next we need to pass the key value pairs. The key indicates all about the column names and the value indicates the value of those columns. So inside the students table, the columns we have called name Next, we have the email. So here we have the email. Next, we have mobile. So name, email, mobile. Let's copy all the column names right directly from this database table. So here we have the age. Next, we have the gender. And here we have the address info. And finally, we are not going to insert any dummy value for this created ad and updated ad because these columns are going to contain the current timestamp value as the default value. Back to editor. So inside these columns, we need to feed data. So let's say name. So what I will do, let's pass the first dummy row. So here I am passing the dummy values. Now if we save all these changes, keep in mind we have a cedar file. Inside this cedar file means class, we have a run method and inside this run method simply we have written a code which is going to insert a dummy row inside a student's table. How we run this file? Back to editor, sorry terminal, we have two options. Either we can run this class file individually or we can run via this database cedar.php file. We will see both ways. So in the first way, we are going to use this database so cedar.php. If I back here, let's say that we have 100 of cedars file. So to run all the cedars, we have a command called phpartition db colon and simply we need to run phpartition db seed. This command is going to run all the cedars file what we have inside our application. When we type this command, hit enter, it will go and look this database cedar.php file. So what we have to do, we need to load this cedar file what we have created inside this file. We can, case, we can say that this is the file which is going to run in the first pattern to run all the cedars. So what we have to do, first we need to import our student cedar class inside this database cedar. So what we have to do, I am to copy this namespace, go here, let's say use database cedars and we have student cedar. Go inside this run method. Let's say that we are going to use the call method. Inside this call method, we need to pass an array and we have student cedar. It's a class. All we have done, we have simply loaded our class and used inside this run method. Back to terminal, type this command, hit enter. And as we can see that 
student seeder runs successfully. If I back to database, click on browse, and as we can see that we are getting our first row means first dummy value inside this students table. In the second alternative way, let's say that we are not going to run all the migrations because this is the command which is going to run all the sorry all the seeders what we have loaded inside this database seeder.php. Instead, we are going to run the specific seeder class file. So let's change some value here. So I will change some value. Now next, let's say we are going to run this class seeder file back to terminal php artisan db colon seed here we need to pass the class as a flag equals to and next we need to pass our class name so the class name we have called student seeder now if i press enter as we can see that database seeding completed successfully back to our database table click on browse now as we can see that we have the second row so these are the possible ways to run our cedar file the first we can load inside this parent cedar file called our database cedar we can load here and run our all the cedars if we want to run the individual cedar class file we need to pass the class as a flag and here inside this class, we need to pass the value as the class name. So in the next video guys, we will see all about that is how can we use the faker library to generate faker data. Because right now, we have these static values. But instead of these static values, how we can use the dummy value by using our faker library. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. And have a great day.